As promised, we're going to create some banners now, and really we're starting on the routers because there's not a whole lot to say about banners except you're just giving someone a banner of information at a certain time when they're connecting to a router. Now, we're going to create three different kinds of banners here. We're going to create a login, a message of the day, and an exec banner. And really, the only difference is where they appear when someone is going to Telnet in. So you might want to take special note of that. And we're going to take a look at this C banner text C, where C is a delimiting character jazz, and see what's going on with that, because that is slightly misleading as well. So let's go ahead and we're going to start with a login banner. And this will be presented to someone before they authenticate. And we'll tell that in from router one and test that after we write it. But this is the one that you may actually have to write simply for legal reasons. Because if you don't tell someone unauthorized use or access of this router is prohibited and they get caught doing unauthorized use, they're going to say, well, I didn't know that was wrong. So actually, for legal reasons, you really should have a login banner saying, you know, unauthorized use prohibited, something like that. Let's go ahead and look at banner login. And here's that line again, the same options here, banner text C, where C is a delimiting character. Now, we take things very literally in this business, and there's a good reason for that. But here, we can't take the C literally. What this really means is you can use any character as your delimiting character, which simply means you're indicating the beginning of your banner and the end of your banner. The thing is, you just have to use the same symbol for the beginning and the end. You don't have to use the letter C. So let's just go ahead and use a dollar sign here. And I'll use that, and it gives me line, create, and that's it. So notice, once I entered banner login and then the delimiting character I chose, which is the dollar sign, it's going to tell you to enter the text message and end with the character dollar sign. That's all there is to it. So I'm just going to go with something short and sweet here. Blah, blah. And then put a dollar sign right there and then hit enter again. So let's see, is there a show banner command? No, there isn't. So what we will do instead is go over to router 1, telnet in. I still have everything on from the previous, um, from the previous lab. And we should be able to telnet in with no problem at all. And right there, you can see the banner unauthorized use prohibited. I'll go ahead and log in and then just log right back out. So nothing to it. The only tricky thing, and it's not even tricky once you write one, is remembering that you don't have to use the letter C for the uh, delimiting character. Now let's go back over to router three. And this time, we're going to create an MOTD, a message of the day banner. And I can have. Extra, I can have more than one banner on the router with no problem at all. So I'm not going to take off the previous one. I want you to see where they show up. And with the message of the day banner, this is a good way to say, you know, hey, the router's going to be down or the network's going to be unavailable tonight from 10 a.m. to 6 a.m., 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. tomorrow, something like that. So if they don't read it, it's their own fault, but you can't tell them that. <laughs> at least you tried. But if you want to put a message of the day banner, it's exactly the same thing. And here I'll just use the uppercase G. And you can see, enter text message, end with the character upper, uppercase G. So, um, network will be offline tonight, beginning at 10 p.m. until at least. Actually, we're going to leave that time off because you know then we'll be tied to it. So we'll just go with that. And I entered, and I'm good. I'll do a quick write on the way out. And now when I tell net in, what am I going to be shown? Well, you can see the order here. And I've got first network will be offline tonight being at 10 a.m. There's the informational one. There's the message of the day. And the login banner is actually appearing right under that. So I'll go ahead and log in and then log out. And that's all there is to it. One more banner I want to show you. And that is the exec banner. Set exec process creation banner. This is information that you want to show someone after they have, con they have successfully connected. So let's just go ahead and do a banner exec. Again, delimiting character, use whatever you want. I'm going to use lowercase h, which means I have to end with that. And uh, I'm just going to put congratulations. 
you have successfully logged in. Strictly an example, not something I would put in a real world network. Maybe. <laughs> Let's go to router one. We'll do a telnet again. And you can see that I haven't been shown the exec banner yet. That's going to wait until after I authenticate. And what happened there? Hmm. I have congratulations you and then that's it. Did you see what happened? It picked up that H as the delimiting character. Ah, so let's go ahead. That's a good real world lesson. And yes, I did mean to do that. It's my story and I'm sticking to it. Let's go ahead and do a banner exec, but this is why you might wanna pick a different character, one you're not gonna have in the message and maybe not a letter. Just something to look out for there. And let's see, because in the previous one, when I used the uppercase G, there was no G in there, correct? <clears throat> Pardon me. So here it is ending with the character G, and I did not have an uppercase G anywhere in the message to be picked up as a delimiting character. So let's go down here, and we'll go with the dollar sign again, and congratulations. Boy, that's a bad spelling. <laughs> Let's try that again. Congratulations, you spelled that correctly. Dollar sign. Okay. So let's go over to router one. Obviously, again, not a banner I'll put on a real world router. And you can see the two messages we got. We got message of the day first, then we got the login message. I go in, I log in, and now I'm seeing the entire message. So just watch your delimiting characters. Don't get too cute like I did there. And you might want to stick with dollar signs, pound signs, that kind of thing that generally are not going to be in those messages. And again, after that, really the key is just remembering which ones you're going to see before login, which ones you're going to see afterwards. And that is it for banners. Let's move on to another subject in our this and that section coming up next.